10, verse 29, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold. They're going to get a hundred times more than you, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And then you get the parable of the labors of the vineyard. Some labor 12 hours, some la like Peter, some labor 6, some labor 1, but in the end, what does everybody get? They get the same thing. Because salvation, remember, how do we get saved? How do I get eternal life? Those are the questions. You, you, you don't earn eternal life. It's a free gift from Christ. It doesn't matter whether you've labored 12 hours or 6 hours or 1 hour. What matters is what you've become. It, do, it doesn't matter how much work you've put in. What matters is that you've come unto Christ and that He's changed you. Now, a couple of thoughts if we could go a little bit further. I want you to remember an important principle here. There's an equation... That, use, that sometimes people use in math. Does anyone know what this mathematical symbol is? Infinity. infinity. It's that sideways 8. Here's the rest of the equation. Infinity plus 1 equals... It actually has a mathematical answer. Does anyone know what it is? Infinity plus 1 equals? Infinity. infinity. Yeah, okay. Infinity plus a negative 1 equals infinity. Infinity plus a negative 1,000 equals infinity. Here's the wonderful thing about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ's atonement is an infinite atonement. He's that. 